you know, again. I, I liked Carson Wentz for a while. I did but too. you know what? There's that there's that unspoken thing about all quarterbacks, and that is, you know, some guys push the envelope and turn it over. Other guys don't push the envelope enough and are captain check down. You have to push the envelope without turning it over. You've right. got to drive the team and, and the ball down the field, but not turn it over. And the thing with Wentz is he's just been, he's made some of the dumbest plays, some of the, some of the worst football plays I've seen. Uh, yeah, but he beat the Niners a couple times and he was quite know, phenomenal. Yeah. The throw to Travis so Fulgham so in good. 2020. It's not all throw to tra- the moon ball he threw to Travis Fulgham as good a throw as as there is. He is yeah. a phenomenal talent. And I Shanahan like likes him. him. I used to like him as well. And uh, Shanahan likes any quarterback that's big. But he's and, talked publicly. He's talked right, about but publicly. he likes all the quarterbacks that are big and they played in an under center system in college. He's always a fan of those quarterbacks, right? Um, but <laughs> That's that's besides the point. But he has talked. He's been extremely effusive in his praise of Carson Wentz. And I was actually a big Wentz fan as well. I, I, I put a lot of stock into tangible things. They're a little more logical to me. His size is real. His arm is very real. He's got a creative ability to make plays off schedule and off structure. He is a great athlete. I think the biggest thing with Wentz that I've learned is there's also a tangible feel and instinct to playing quarterback, right? There's a poise. There's an ability to keep your poise and confidence and know what play to make, right? It's what you talked about, that he doesn't seem to ever know like what play he needs to make in the moment. He makes some of the dumbest plays, especially when you throw in the moment in the world. I think it's that. His poise, his confidence, everything becomes erratic. And with that, his accuracy becomes a little bit erratic and all of that. Whereas you com- contrast him to a guy that I just finished watching in the draft, Bryce Young, like shoot, you take the size away from Bryce Young and the fact that he gets hit maybe a little bit too much for my liking for a guy with that size, he has every single thing you could ever want in a quarterback. Like he's got, he's the antithesis of Wentz in a lot of ways, right? He doesn't have this size, this athleticism, these tangible abilities, but he's got so much accuracy, so much poise, moves so well within the pocket, has such a feel for where people are. And I, Wentz just doesn't have that, Larry. I, I think that's why that's what I ultimately come to, and I, I think that he's never going to have that. <clears throat> I just think that he's he's not taking very good care of the football, um, so he pushes too hard. You know, I was talking about that that ability. Like I think Brock Purdy right now is dialed in almost perfectly in that he takes chances, but he right. takes care of the football. Um, I feel like Wentz is dialed up a little too much to take chances. And that all being said, I don't think he's a good fit here because I think he's a number two quarterback. Um, and it, if you could be the number two quarterback in Kansas city, yeah. why would you be the number three quarterback in San Francisco? I also think he's a difficult fit because when you look at who he is physically, Larry still, gosh, I feel like you put him on the practice field. He could probably still impress a lot of people with who he is physically. Don't you think like when you see Carson Wentz, you see his size, you see the way he throws it. Like you got it. You see how tough he is, the way he stands in the pocket. Like he's kind of a tough guy to have as your number two quarterback because he'll always leave you wanting. And we know there's a leadership question mark, but he's also so talented that he could cause a little bit of dissonance there because other Sands, maybe 10, 11 quarterbacks in the NFL. Wentz would be more talented than a lot of different starters. Well, I, you know, I'm, I wouldn't worry about that at all. Oh, okay. I mean, at okay. all. Okay. Um, if he's, you know, I, I want the best guys all on my team. I hear you though, as far as not every quarterback trio fits. Right. And what's his, you know, this is not a dictatorship. This is somewhat of a democracy. You know what I mean? Everybody's got an agent and everybody's got a little say so in their own career. And, you know, he, he's not going to be happy as the number three. Um, not that you ever want a guy that is, but you know what I'm saying? It's like he, his expectation is to start some games and get an opportunity to start and be in a good situation. The Niners are a good situation. That's for sure. I and mean, they, right. they've got great weapons, a terrific defense. They've been the championship game, the, you know, the NFC championship game back to back years. Now they've been to Super Bowls recently. So they're a great, always going to be a destination, but 
I don't know. It, it would really be about how bad does a particular quarterback want to come play for Kyle Shanahan? How bad does somebody want to force themselves right. to a to a good situation? And we saw in the NBA with Dante DiVincenzo. You know, he played in Milwaukee. Um, you know, it's a great team. He goes to Sacramento. The culture was work. not good. And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, I just want to be on a good team. So once you're on a good team and then you go on a bat, you know, I think sometimes guys just want to be on a good team. So maybe that will help the 49ers attract somebody uh, better than they should get a quarterback. Yeah, I I think you have an absolute point there. And I think while we're on Wentz, and we're talking about that Wentz example, um, I, I do think that if there's a place, like if we're going to give Wentz a chance at resurrecting his career, at realizing, you know, the immense physical potential he has, like, shoot, you got to think. He comes here with Shanahan, these weapons, all of that. He gets an opportunity to play. Is there a better spot for a, any quarterback, honestly, in the NFL in terms of weapons, coaching, defense, um, the way, you know, how good the system is, all of that? Shoot, I, I can't think of a better spot, Larry. Well, Kansas City uh, might be a better spot because, you know, Mahomes plays all the time, reads, you know, the top of his game, play caller. Oh, I was um, talking about to actually play, to actually play. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that, that, well, I don't know. I mean, here, here, I mean, you probably are going to play here, I guess, because guys get hurt, but I mean, oh, or gosh. you could look at the odds and say, well, guys have gotten hurt here. Maybe they're due to be healthy. I don't, you know, I don't, I really don't know, you know, how exactly to read the injury bug, but I do think the 49ers should be very serious about the third quarterback to me the one thing you absolutely just can't let happen again is you can't get into the championship game and not have a quarterback on your bench that you can win with. Um, and it's important. It's probably as important as the other needs, which are offensive tackle, defensive tackle, defensive end corner, yeah. you know, free safety, free safety. 